I'm here at the hub, at the top of the Royal Mile. It's during the Edinburgh Festivals and the theme is Welcome World. And as we look forward to the 70th anniversary of the Edinburgh Festivals next year, the importance of Scotland's place in Europe and the world is more important than ever. Clearly, Scotland voted to remain in the EU and as we go forward, we'll be making sure that Scotland's voice and our interests are protected in the European Union. Scotland believes in working with other nations globally to strengthen relationships and promote our place on the international stage. And the innovation and investment hubs we are establishing will support this. As part of Scotland's contribution in helping overseas countries develop in a fair and sustainable manner, we're increasing the International Development Fund to £10 million. Our global reputation is enhanced by our support for arts and culture. Our National Museum and National Galleries, which attract 25 million visitors annually, will remain free. We will also continue to represent Scotland's interests through the BBC Charter renewal process. I will develop for and with Scotland a new national culture strategy to promote access, equality and excellence. The new Heritage Infrastructure Investment Plan will restore and conserve our built heritage and support our £12 billion tourism industry. And we will also invest in a number of major sporting events, demonstrating our commitment to building on the legacy of the Commonwealth Games and the Ryder Cup. The programme for government clearly faces up to many challenges that lie ahead, but there are also opportunities. And my job as Cabinet Secretary and the Scottish Government's job is to make sure that we can promote Scotland as the best place to, to live, to work, to study and to be creative. And that's what our intention will be.